Hello everyone and welcome. So today we are going to meet the Basset Five Day Bretagne Dog. So this particular breed of dog originates in France like other Basset Hounds do. Typically you'll find this dog having a coat that is of a more tan and reddish color. Although this breed has a short hair coat, he does need to be bathed regularly because this dog's coat does hold on to odors. So that's definitely something to think about if you want to keep your, you know, your house smelling really nice and everything. Not everybody is into dogs having the, you know, doggy odor kind of smell, you know, from being outside and everything. And with this dog getting odor stuck in his coat, this could mean that this dog could be likely to be out in the grass rolling around and rolling in all kinds of other uh, types of materials outside that can, that can leave odors in its coat. So that's definitely something to think about. So definitely, uh, if you have this dog breed or you're thinking about getting this dog breed, you definitely want to make sure you bathe this dog regularly. Um, if you want to find out how regular you should bathe this dog, it's a good idea to reach out to the breeder that you get this dog from or to reach out to your local veterinarian that you're going to be taking this dog to. So <clears throat> some more interesting information about this breed is that this dog, although it has short little legs and is close to the ground, this dog does walk at a fast pace of speed. So you may wonder how that is. Well, when this dog sees a small animal like other hounds do, he wants to chase after small animals. So that could include little animals like squirrels or birds or rabbits, maybe even, you know, little golfers or chipmunks or whatever tiny small animals are in your backyard or in your surroundings this dog is going to want to chase after it. So that's definitely something you want to think about. And if you have any small animals inside the house that let's say you let out the cage, like if you have like a gerbil or a mouse or rats or any other type of small pet, then it might be a good idea to make sure you put those animals up um, while this dog is out and about roaming around in the house. It's not a good idea, I don't think, to have your small animal running around on the floor and then having the uh, Basset Fav de Bertogni dog <laughs> roaming around in the house too because he's going to want to chase after the little animal and your little small pet's probably going to get really scared because, you know, this hound is going to want to chase after it. <laughs> Another important thing to know about this dog is that when this dog is hunting, and you call after him or her, the dog is not going to respond to you. And this is something very important for a lot of you to know because most of us think that, you know, when we call after a dog and we tell it to come back, the dog's going to come back. With training, the dog could probably learn to heed your calls, but, you know, this dog can get into the zone where he's, he's when he's hunting, he's hunting. So, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you're aware of this and you have this dog in circumstances where um, it's going to heed your calls and giving this dog the opportunity to have um, training, uh, particularly like obedience training could be good for you, especially uh, for having a more um, enjoyable time with this dog breed, especially if you know you're gonna have to call after him, you know, because if he gets off the leash, if you call after him, you want the spree to come back to you. You don't just want him to keep running, chasing after whatever small animals out there. So although we talked about this dog being in the zone when he's hunting, this dog is wonderful for a growing family. So if you're expanding your family and you know, you're thinking about having children or you already have a couple of kids, this dog is gonna be great because this dog is gonna be a great addition to your family because this dog does have energy and the dog wanting to run around, it's gonna be great, you know, to 
you know, help tire out your kids and things because this dog likes to play and have fun. It's high energy. So it's definitely, you know, good to know, you know, and he's a great companion pet for you to have as a part of your family. Another thing that makes this dog really cool is that this dog likes to be picked up. So your kids, if you have any, uh, if you don't have kids or you do have kids in the house or maybe you have grandchildren or nieces and nephews, this dog does like to be picked up. So he's okay with, you know, kids petting him and picking him up and stuff like, you know, like kids like to do. Um, this dog is going to be gentle and okay with being handled by kids. And that's what makes it great for uh, a family, you know, that has kids around, you know, like I said, whether it's going to be, you know, your grandkids, your nieces or nephews, maybe, um, you know, other young children that, you know, you may watch that are in your family and stuff. It's definitely going to be a great, you know, great to have this dog around when it comes to uh, kids being around too. And another positive about this dog breed is that this dog is not picky. So whatever food you're going to give this dog, the dog is going to be perfectly fine with it. You know, the dog is not going to be greedy. He's going to be happy with whatever food you put in his dog dish. He's going to be good with it. And I can imagine that he's going to be good with, you know, you definitely want to give it water, but just know he's going to be okay with the little bit of food and scraps that you give him to eat. I just wanted to introduce you guys to the Basset Fav de Bretagne um, that originates from France like other uh, Basset Hounds do. Thank you so much for watching. And um, the next video we'll come up with, we'll talk about another dog breed um, and we'll see where that is. Thanks for watching. Bye.